Welcome to the Royal American. I'm Victor Smith. Top story tonight, 3,000 American troops have been sent to Eastern Europe in response to the Russia-Ukraine affair. Charles York has more. According to the New York Times, the White House is deploying an additional 3,000 American troops to Eastern Europe, specifically Poland and Romania. Close to 2,000 of them are going to Poland. The troops being deployed to Romania will be accompanied by the French. Some 8,500 American forces are on high alert after Russia has amassed some 100,000 troops near the Ukrainian border. Thank you. Next story tonight, ABC has suspended Whoopi Goldberg from appearing on The View for anti-Semitic comments she made on a, on a recent episode. She denied that the Holocaust was about race, claiming that the Holocaust killed white people and that jew isn't a race because jews are white people she has been she has already apologized on the jimmy kimmel show oh, sorry not jimmy kimmel stephen colbert show on cbs and her apology was quite frankly uh was quite frankly lack of was quite frankly not good in other news the canadian truckers and other manufacturing people are protesting lockdowns and mandates william stout has more thank you victor <laughs> earlier this week in ottawa truckers from all over canada descended on the parliament square to protest Canadian lockdowns and other COVID-related restrictions. Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada, called it a threat to democracy and implied that perhaps Russia was behind it and was colluding to disrupt and disturb the peace in Canada. The truckers, on the other hand, are protesting the economic strain caused by the lockdowns and are continuing their protests in hopes of lifting restrictions and seeing businesses flourish again as the burden of COVID continues to inflict itself upon working class people. Thank you for that report, William. Next story. A college in Virginia is experiencing tragedy as two police officers were murdered. The alleged suspect was a student athlete. No motive is known at this time. In sports, Ferdinand Habsburg and his team at Tower Motorsports finished in third place at the 24 Hours of Daytona in the LMP2 class of race car. The United States national soccer team defeated El Salvador in Columbus, Ohio, one nothing. Anthony Robinson with the one and only goal. On Sunday, however, they shockingly lost to Canada in Hamilton, Ontario, two nothing. They play Honduras tonight in St. Paul, Minnesota, in the midst of a winter weather advisory, much to the chagrin of everyone involved in supporting U.S. soccer. In pro football news, the Super Bowl has been decided. The Los Angeles Rams will take on the Cincinnati Bengals in Super Bowl 56 at SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles on Sunday, February 13th. This is the second time that the Super Bowl is, is being played by a home team. The last time this happened was last year in Super Bowl 55, when Tom Brady led the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to victory over the Kansas City Chiefs at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. Also, the Washington football team are, have a new moniker. They are now called the Washington Commanders. They are still using their red and gold color scheme that they have been using. 
For more hilarity about this team name, tune in to the Monarchist Minute podcast on Monday on YouTube. This has been the Royal American. I'm Victor Smith, signing off.